I'm Anthea Piata and I guide for Yellowfish on the Vol River. So I have a background in graphic design and fine art and I think that translates into my fly tying. I use it not just as a creative outlet but obviously it's become something that I'm very passionate about. For me fly fishing starts at the vice. It's not just when you hop on the river. I like to think of fly tying as a process of purpose. It's not just about the aesthetic of the fly. Trying to think about how that fly is going to move in the water. When you want to go and catch a fish, you start to think about what is that fish feeding on, the habitat that it's in, what's living in those waters, and you have a purpose behind the type of fly that you want to tie to catch that specific fish. And I think fishing is more than just arriving at a destination and putting on a fly because someone says to you, hey, this is going to work. It's about understanding why it's working, why it will work, how it works, uh, what are the triggers in that specific fly for that specific fish, and all of that comes into the creative process behind the fly that you're going to be tying. I'm busy tying a mace horned fly, which is supposed to imitate a bait fish. It's made up of deer belly hair and a zonka tail. And the reason why this fly works so successfully is because of the jigging motion that it creates in the water. It's got a lot of movements, it's got a great profile. And it's got all the triggers that you need. There's a hot spot little belly, and then some weighted dumbbell eyes, also in a hot orange color. So I love deer hair, actually. A lot of people don't. And the reason I like it is because it's so versatile. You can use it in flies to make them float. You can use it in flies that you want to even sink. It pushes water very nicely. It's just such a versatile material, and it comes in so many colors, so you can get quite creative in your patterns, whether you want to create spots or stripes or stack it or spin it. I think it's a very underrated material when it comes to fly tying. I started fishing when I was a little girl. Um, I grew up in a fishing family and I think I was just learning to walk when my dad put a fishing rod in my hand <laughs> and we were just doing salt and estuary fishing at the time. And um, yeah, that's when the bug bit. So yellowfish is a passion of mine because they are, in my opinion, one of the fastest and strongest fish that we've got in our freshwater systems in South Africa. And they're also indigenous to our country and and they are a protected species. Guiding for me is a passion. I enjoy teaching people how to catch yellowfish, not just for the sport aspects of it, as it originally starts out when people want to start fly fishing, but also around the conservation parts of how to handle a fish correctly, why we fish certain ways that we do, using barbless hooks, um, trying to keep that fish in the water as long as possible and just showing people that fishing is more about being out there in nature, a roaring river and getting the whole experience around that. I am the only woman guiding in South Africa at the moment. It's a space that's never really been open and available for women in South Africa. Well, a lot of women have been reaching out to me and inquiring about fly fishing and what it entails and how do they begin and where do they start. I really hope to inspire more women to get involved in fly fishing and get outside 